Hey everybody, Mike Day here with EverythingAboutConcrete.com. In today's video, we're going to be talking about some concrete finishing techniques. But first, I want to show you how we pour a little concrete slab like this. And then we'll get into how we mag it, how we broom it, how we edge it, and then how we groove it. Now, hey, if you're new to this channel, go ahead down there and hit the subscribe button. Hit the little bell notification so you'll be updated with all my new videos. I'm coming out with at least two videos a week like this teaching you guys how to pour and finish concrete. My company, Days Concrete Floors Incorporated, we specialize in concrete flat work. So we do slabs and floors, stamp concrete. We do stained concrete. We do a lot of epoxy floors, a lot of concrete repair. So if that's the kind of things you want to learn about, then go ahead down there and hit the subscribe button now. So as you can see, we're pouring the slab. We had to use this excavator because the ground was just too muddy to get the concrete truck back there. We would have just got it stuck. So the guys with the excavator agreed just to help us out, which, which that was really nice. It made it pour in it really easy. We're using a 4,000 PSI mix here with three quarter inch stone. It's a six inch slip. It's a six inch thick slab. And we got some wire mesh in there. We're pulling up as we go. We don't want to pull it up when he's dumping it because we don't want to get hit by the excavator. So we're getting it flattened out. You can see we get it leveled out and we're magging, we're magging that board edge as we go. That bucket holds about four or five wheelbarrows at a time so that made it pretty nice. Hey, if if you guys already pour concrete, if you know you know how to pour concrete, leave me a yes down there in the comments. If you don't, if you're just learning and uh, and you want to learn some concrete finishing techniques, if you've never done concrete before, then then leave a no down there in the comments so I know you know just how to gear these videos, who to make them for. There he's got it about half poured out now. We've got to put a little brace on one of those boards. The board started to kick out. As you can see, there's snow on the ground here. It's still a little chilly. Um, there's no frost in the ground. Today was pretty sunny. It was about 50 degrees out there. But that crushed rock, sometimes that doesn't hold those pins very good. So we got to keep an eye on our boards. we got a string line on it to, tell, to keep it straight. Now you can see we're magging the edges out now. We've got a guy with a vibrator there vibrating the edge. I'll have links down in the description too, guys, for all these tools. You know, if, if you're interested in, in using the same tools we do, you can go down there and check them out. We like that magnesium straight edge for stuff like this. It's really light. It's easy to use. You can see we're just screening right off the top of the board. We set the board right to grade. We don't use a sawing action, we just kind of pull it six, eight, ten inches at a time and set back. We use the straight edge, we keep it tipped a little bit so we run it off the back edge so it doesn't dig in. And you can see we had to put another little brace right there. It's almost got enough concrete in there. This is at the Maine Maritime Museum in Bath, Maine. We're on the, right on the Kennebec River. It's a beautiful spot. There's a lot of good uh, striper fishing here in the summer. All right, we're going to get the rest of that pulled down. Got a little more concrete we need in there. We did two more pads just like this up on the hill there on the right. You can't see them in this shot. but So we did three of these today in all. They all totaled about 10 yards of concrete. Oh yeah, so we got it all poured. We got it all straight edged. Now my guy's going to bull float it. The bull float just it pushes down the rocks. And brings up the cream so it makes it really easy to finish. 
We use a bull float that's got rounded edges. It, it barely leaves any lines on the edges. We got the old style where you push it down and you pull it up. We've got the other style too. We just we just kind of like this one. We use this one the most. You see, I'm coming behind him with my mag and I'm just magging out any lines, getting it ready for the finishing process. A good bull float man will make the finishing process real easy. So if you take your time bull floating, fill in any voids, get it nice and smooth, the finishing goes easy. You see I had to put in a little kicker over there. The next thing we're going to do after we get the tools all washed up and put away, we're going to, I'm going to cut a groove right down the center of this. That's going to be kind of like a expansion contraction joint. So you can put that in either with a hand groover or you could saw it in later. We decided to use a hand groover for this one. So what I'm doing right now is I'm measuring out the center, which is going to be 10 feet on this. It was 20 feet long. And I'm just putting a little mark in the concrete with my finger. Now I'm going to go over to the other side, do the same thing. Just put a little mark in there. And that's where that groove is going to go, right on that 10 foot mark. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my straight edge and use that as a guide. So I'll lay that right on top. And I offset it from my, from my center mark just a couple inches because my groover is about four inches wide. So I offset the straight edge about two inches from the center. So the groove will be right on my finger mark. And I check it as I put the groover down. I just check it. I tap it over to where I need it. And then I start cutting that groove. When you use a groover like this on a handle, you're going to want to cut it in when it's pretty wet. Otherwise, you won't get it in like this. You'll have to, you'll have to chop it in by hand. I've got another video you can check out where I'm cutting them in by hand around a pool deck and I'll have that I'll have that at the end of the video if you want to check that out but using the one on the handle makes it pretty easy as long as you time it right it's all about timing so I'll get that groove cut in and then we'll just have to wait a little bit for the finishing process to start we don't want to start finishing the slab too early we'll just be wasting our time So the next thing we'll do is we'll start cutting the edges in. You can see my guy over there. He's got a two inch wide by four inch long brass edger. And he's just running that along the board and it's rounding that edge off, giving it a picture frame kind of look. So we cut them in early and get that edge rounded off before the concrete gets too hard. I like to mag right right after he cuts them in I like to mag that back flat so I I mag out any lines he leaves obviously leaving the rounded part but I like to get it nice and flat so that edge doesn't tip down now my other guy there he's starting to mag the surface we always mag the surface first before we broom so even though the slab's already pretty smooth from the bull float, it still has a few little imperfections here and there. So we mag the surface all out, get all the imperfections out, any little rock holes or anything like that. And that even brings up a little bit finer cream. And it, it gives you a really nice broom mark if you do that. Our concrete up here in Maine, because we have so many freeze and thaw cycles, it has air in it. So it's air entrained concrete. So we only mag it. We don't steel trowel any exterior concrete up here. You always risk 
sealing the surface off too early if you steel trowel it, which means you could trap in some moisture, you could trap in some air, and that would lead to a blister or some delamination. So we just mag it. The magging doesn't seal the surface off. As you can see, to get a, you get a nice, straight, clean broom mark. If you set that broom down really easy and pull it right straight back without stopping. Again, guys, my channel is all about concrete, concrete finishing, pouring, power troweling, stamp concrete. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead down there and hit subscribe. Hit the little bell notification too. I'm coming out with these videos two to three times a week. If there's anything in specific you want to learn about, then leave a comment and uh, I'll see if I can make a video about it. You can see how nice and easy I pulled that broom back. Always wash your broom after two guys. Get it right clean. Otherwise, you won't use it again. So my guys are putting the finishing edging mark around. And I'm going to put that finished groove mark on there to give it a nice picture frame look. And then that's it. This will be done. So we've, we've learned how to mag the surface. We've learned how to run the edger. We've learned how to groove it. And those are some pretty important concrete finishing techniques to learn if you're, in, if you're going in the concrete business. Well, hey guys, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you on the next video.